Rick, we're aboard the Everglades 255, and this boat is so loaded with features, it's hard to know where to start. We've got comfortable bow seating, got a built-in windlass, and a 26-foot center console. Oh, I'll tell you where we can start. Let's talk about this windshield. If it's slick and hot like it is so often in the summer, you can run with it all the way down, start to pick up a little chop, raise it some to block the spray from getting to you, and if you get in heavy seas or heavy rain squall, just raise it all the way up. It all happens hydraulically. It even has a little sprayer and a built-in windshield wiper. Rick, one look at this helm, and you know it's an Everglades. You're exactly right, Dave. That's the signature of their boats. And let me tell you something. This helm is so secure feeling, you almost got to be careful about getting a false sense of security. You've got your grab rail right here for when you're running the boat. This is like being in an airplane cockpit. Remember, you put that windshield up, you're out of the wind altogether. Yeah, it's almost like you're in an enclosed pilot house. Yeah, Dave, Everglades does a great job of getting you out of the elements, even if the elements aren't so kind outside. Well, the design of their center console, I've got plenty of room to walk around, yet there's still enough room for a head down there. Rick, behind the helm, you've got a really neat tackle station. I've got storage here, cup holders, places for your lures. The Yeti cooler is on a slide out. You have a sink and a lot of water pressure. All right, now you've told me what impresses you as a boat builder. Let me show you what I like as a fisherman, okay? I love this closed transom like this. Reminds me of fishing out of my old inboard boat. Well, it lets you get all the way against the transom of the boat. You're not taking up all this room from the outboards sitting in here. You can reach a rod around the back end of those outboards very easy without cutting your fish off in the prop. Not that I would know anything about that. Rick, again from the boat builder side, one thing I love is the access to the systems. If you can get to it, you're going to maintain it. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I don't, I don't know where some of the pumps are on my boat because I can't see them readily. You're exactly right. One look into there, you can see what needs to be cleaned out and sprayed off. Your live well is here with a clear lid so you can see your bait. And for your family, this folds down into seating. Well, for divers, they're going to love the fact that you've got an easy access door on and off the transom. And like I said before, for maintenance, You've got an actuator that'll lift this up, you can get to all of your systems. Holy smokes, Dave. Dave, that looks like a 45 sport fish. I mean, the wires are bundled perfectly, they're labeled perfectly, it's ideal. For down the road maintaining this boat, you can see exactly where every wire goes and what it does. And if it's corroding. Now you're in a boat that's really meant for blue water along with the other two boats that we brought. So if you're ready to take that leap, go out the inlet, go out and chase maybe kingfish, dolphin, yellowtail or whatever, Especially for somebody who's just getting into it, this would be a great place to start. Well, it's a commitment in a lot of different areas. Of course it's more cost. Of course it's more power. Very probably twin engines. Really cuts down on where you can park it, Dave. A lot of neighborhoods have restrictions on how big a boat you can have in your, in your driveway. Not only that, Dave, two people can fish this boat comfortably. I can see myself kite fishing for sailfish in Palm Beach with this thing with the breeze. It is really laid out where there's nothing for you to tangle your kite lines on, it's a well done boat. So if somebody's looking to get out into blue water but doesn't want to take that leap into a lot larger center console, this may be their best boat. Dave, there's a lot of features on this 255 Everglades. There's a lot to like on this boat. Well, that's what Best Boat is all about, finding the best boat for you.